Segment three, the Mora Elephant Army. Before watching the Mora Elephant Army, think about this. How would the elephant as a weapon of war be compared to the modern tank of today? What eats hundreds of pounds of food a day, is covered in wrinkles, and was used as a tank during war? For the answer to this riddle, travel back in time to India's Mauryan Empire. Elephants, used as powerful weapons and vehicles, helped warriors conquer enemy armies. The Mauryan Empire lasted from about 325 to 185 BC and included almost all of India and parts of Central Asia. Ahsoka ruled over this empire with the help of his massive armies. In 261 BC, from his capital city in Pataliputra, Ahsoka decided to attack the southern city of Kalinga. Little did he know he would fight his last battle. Mauryan warriors took special care of their elephants, bathing them each morning. Elephants have been considered precious resources in India for thousands of years. Under Ahsoka's reign, any man who caused the death of an elephant was executed. Elephants' thick skin, enormous strength, and calm nature made them valuable animals in battle. They could carry four men, two shooting arrows from the sides, one shooting from behind, and one in front to guide the animal. With their massive bodies, the elephants were used to trample and terrorize the enemy. According to folklore, in Kalinga, they could hear the Mauryan warriors long before they appeared like distant thunder. The Mauryan warriors and elephants far outnumbered the Kalingans, and they were defeated. With its army beaten, Kalinga soon surrendered. Victory was Ahsoka's. Thousands were killed in the terrible battle, and warriors on both sides mourned their slain comrades. Even the elephants were distressed. According to legend, some elephants stood over dead soldiers, protecting them. Emperor Ahsoka was stunned by the bloodshed and saddened by the suffering his victory had caused. He vowed never to fight again. Ahsoka turned to a life of peace and became a follower of Buddhism. His newfound belief in nonviolence led him to make widespread changes. He built monasteries, reduced the harsh laws he once enforced, and regulated how livestock were slain. The Mauryan Empire flourished under Ahsoka's rule, but collapsed after he died in 232 BC. While no longer used in battle, elephants remain important in India today. Their great strength and ability to move heavy objects make them valuable beasts of burden. Now that you've seen the Mora Elephant Army, Talk about this. What advantages and disadvantages did elephants give Ahsoka's army as it fought the war?
Segment 4, Spartan Warriors. Before watching Spartan Warriors, think about this. What factors would be important in selecting warriors long ago that would be the same as selecting the modern soldier today? What factors would be different? <laughs>